In this clip, we are going to talk about operation defaults. Anytime you create an operation, its fields are populated from the operation defaults file. So in this 2D contour toolpath, so for linking parameters, these are the values that are coming from the default file. So for instance, I prefer that I would always have a clearance of three inches above my part. Um, say for instance, my lead in lead outs, I would like to use 40% of the length and 40% of an arc, as opposed to 100 and 100. And I always want to have the coolant turned on. In the files of the machine, there's the operation default, and we can edit it here. So here's our 2D contour. Over to the linking parameters, turn clearance on. We wanted a three inch clearance. I only want to use it at the start and end of the operation. My coolant, I want it to be on always. My lead in lead outs, And I always want to use an overlap of 25 thou. And we'll hit OK. Now when I create my 2D contour, linking parameters, I have my clearance of 3 inches. My coolant is turned on. My lead in lead outs are the values I wanted with my overlap. Not only can we edit just one operation at a time, we can also do multiple operations. Uh, so for, for example, if we wanted to do a drilling operation right now, I want to drill this hole. My linking parameters isn't here on this drilling operation yet. I would like all my operations to include this 3 inch clearance no matter what. So going into the files of the machine, Again, we'll edit the operation defaults. Or this time we'll select everything in our 2D tool paths. Right click, edit selected operations, edit common parameters. Here we're going to change the clearance on all the operations that have a clearance value. Obviously, if it, uh, one of the operations there doesn't use a clearance value, you can't set the default for it. But we'll set the clearance to 3 inches. the start and end of the operation, be an absolute value. I'm going to enable this. So hit OK. So now any operation in our 2D toolpath should come through with the clearance set at 3 inches. So back to our drilling op. There we have our 3 inches. Clearance only at start and end. Save for our face. Again, there's our clearance, three inches, start and end of the operation. Not only can we edit our toolpath parameters, we can also edit some of the settings for the machine itself. For example, in the tool settings, if you're always changing the program number, the assigned tool number sequentially, or worn duplicates, or even your material to a constant uh, or consistent uh, setting, those can be altered in here as well. So, for example, let's go into our defaults. Under the tool settings here, I will change my program number, assign tool number sequentially, and worn duplicates in my toolpath configuration. And I'm also going to change the material type. To a 6061. Uh, say in the stock setup as well, I'd like to display my stock with a wireframe anytime that I actually set it up. Hit OK on that. Hit OK again. You notice it won't come through on the existing machine definition. Show, so to, to show the effects of that, I'm just going to turn this toolpath off. 
I'll copy this um, geometry. Oh, looks like I already had it copied. Uh, start a new file. So my machine definition has reloaded. And now I have my program number, my settings here, and my material loaded here. So I can paste that geometry back in there. Do my toolpath. My defaults are still coming through, as they should be. And now my tool is actually tool number one. And if I do my drilling, There's my tool number two. So as you can see, setting your operation defaults to values that you use most often can be a really big time saver. Um, it's worth investing some of your time to, to set these defaults up correctly. It will definitely save you time in the long run and make your programming job a little bit easier. So that's it for this video. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one.